Hi, and welcome to another Miracom Minute. In this video, I will take you through how I configure a card access panel. I will be creating multiple access levels and schedules, and will show you how to correlate them to credentials and access points. In the Job Detail Configuration window, I will begin by configuring the time zone and enabling daylight savings time. In the Panel Configuration window, we can label the card panel, assign the RS-485 address, and below in the Options window, we can configure the types of credential formats the panel will recognize and report real-time events. Facility Code mode allows you to grant access based on the facility code of the credential only. The panel will not look at the card number of the credential to grant access. By enabling interlock, the panel will operate in a way where door B cannot be unlocked until door A is locked and vice versa. This feature is commonly used in jewelry stores. Click the date and time button to set the date and time of the panel and enable daylight savings time. If we expand access points in the job tree, we can rename each access point. In this job, I will rename reader A on panel one to main entrance and reader B to rear entrance. Reader A on panel two to parking entrance and reader B to staff entrance. Both of these panels are located in the security office so I'll leave them labeled as panel one and two. Before entering the access credential data, I like to create schedules and access levels. In the schedules section of the job tree, I have created a maintenance staff and contractor example schedule. Contractors are scheduled to work in the building from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday, and the maintenance staff are scheduled to enter the building overnight from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Sunday to Saturday. Please note that when creating overnight schedules, two periods must be used as per the maintenance schedule I have created. I created corresponding access levels for contractors, maintenance staff, resident, and building admin staff. The admin access level will have access to all the access points without scheduling restrictions. Residents will have access to all doors except the staff entrance, which is reserved for management, maintenance staff, and contractors. These access levels will restrict entry according to their respective schedules. If we navigate to the card section in the job tree, we can access the card configuration window. Credentials can be added by right-clicking in the card configuration window and selecting add cards, or by selecting the add cards icon in the menu bar. You can add a single credential or credentials in bulk. In this example, I will add credentials in bulk. I have 50 Miracom clamshell credentials in two blocks of 25. The first block's card number starts at 920 and ends at 945. The second block starts at 946 and ends at 969. They all share the same facility code of 255. In the Add Cards window, I will enter 50 and the total number of cards to add. I will leave the name field at the default new card and will edit the name as the cards are assigned to the staff and resident. In the card number field, I will enter the first credentials number, 920. I will leave the access level at the default admin and enter the facility code of 255 and click OK. Click OK on the card added message window to close the add cards window. In this facility, we will assign two contractor cards, six maintenance cards, and two cards for management. The rest are reserved for residents. I have reserved the first 10 cards for staff, contractors, and will assign the rest to residents. Click on card number 930. Scroll to the bottom of the list, hold the shift key, and select the last card, number 969. While holding the shift key, I will double click on any of the highlighted cards to bulk edit. You can also bulk edit by right clicking in the highlighted field and select Edit Cards. These 40 credentials are designated for the residents of the building, so I will change the admin access level to resident and click OK. All of the selected cards will have the resident access level. Cards 928 and 929 are reserved for contractors. Cards 922 and 927 are for the building maintenance staff, and the remaining two cards are for management. Next, I like to configure the inputs and outputs and create correlations for the controller if needed. Inputs 1 and 5 are pre-configured as door contacts for each door. Inputs 2 and 6 are pre-configured as request to exit. 
inputs 3, 4, 7, and 8 are pre-configured as general purpose. You can configure each input's assignment, active state, circuit supervision, and delay time as needed. Outputs 1 and 5 are assigned to each reader's lock and operate the door strike. Outputs 2 and 6 are assigned to operate accessible doors. This works in conjunction with cards that have the designated accessibility privilege via the handicap checkbox. Please note that outputs 1 to 6 are dry relay contacts and outputs 7 and 8 are wet relay contacts, which output 12 volts DC and provide a maximum output of 700 milliamps on a single output or a combined output of 1 amp total. This concludes the card access panel configuration example. This has been another Miracom Minute. Thanks for watching.